Jay Leno has a big gray box in his garage that he uses to print out custom car parts for his collection of more than 200 cars and motorcycles. I'm Nathan Levitis Giles, a reporter with the Los Angeles Times Business Section, and I've got a story on 3D printers. Uh, Jay Leno's big gray box is called a 3D printer, and it's actually used to um, uh, make anything that he wants. And in this case, it's his mechanics designing old car parts, rare, hard to find car parts that you can't get at your local Pep Boys. Um, and it actually makes them out of plastic. Uh, this right here is a shot glass that is made with an, a 3D printer, actually a MakerBot, which is a small 3D printer that you can buy on the internet for about $750. MakerBot is a company based in Brooklyn, and they're about a four-person firm working on bringing 3D printing uh, to a consumer level um, as quickly as they possibly can. They've sold more than a thousand of their uh, 3D printers and they've actually had to call on uh, their own customers to produce some of the parts. Well, the 3D printer that Leno has is made by a company called Stratasys Incorporated and that's an industrial strength printer. It goes for about $27,000, a far cry from the $750 for your make MakerBot kit. Um, but Stratasys has recently teamed with Hewlett Packard to uh, make some HP branded industrial strength uh, 3D printers, kind of like the one that Leno has, that they are selling in Europe. If they sell well in Europe, they're going to start selling them in the United States and other countries uh, and other continents. And analysts say that this could be the first step towards a major manufacturer like HP or maybe someone like Xerox or Canon getting into the 3D printer game uh, in a way that could see us being able to have a consumer level 3D printer of high, of high quality within maybe the next five to ten years. So will it be HP that's selling you your 3D printer at your electronic store or will it be MakerBot? I guess we'll find out.